Hi guys and welcome to another Windows tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to create a virtual machine in VMware ESXi 4.1. So to get started, start up VMware vSphere client, enter the IP address or name of the server and log in. Okay, go to Virtual Machines, right click on Empty Space and click New Virtual Machine. You can leave it as typical and click Next. Give the virtual machine a name, so and then click Next. Choose where you want to save the virtual machine. I'm going to save it in my um, first data store. I'm going to click next. Now I'll choose what operating system is going to be in the virtual machine. So for me in this demonstration it will be XP Professional 32-bit and create a disk in data store 1. That's the available disk space. You can choose how big you want the virtual disk. So you can also now tick allocate and commit space on demand thin provisioning. If you don't tick this what it will do is it will allocate all of the space now and support clustering features such as fault tolerance. I'm gonna tick this because I'm only on a I'm creating a virtual machine in a virtual machine <laughs> so I'm gonna tick that for now and click next and then I'm going to click finish. So see the virtual machines here created and now I want to edit the settings because I want to choose where it gets the operating system from. So you can either use a client device so that's the um, DVD drive or CD drive on the computer that you're using now. So for example for me I'd put the CD into my laptop. I'm not going to do that got host device, that's the device on the server, or you've got a data store ISO file, which is what I'm going to use here. So I'm going to click browse, and I'm going to browse a data store for a image. So for example here, images, I've got an XP image, I'm going to click OK, and OK again. So now you've done that, you can open the console, pop that up there so you can there you go, uh, power it on. And you know what we forgot to do is if I click here and I'm going to do this again now and then reset the virtual machine. Uh, VM power reset, yes. Okay, there we go. Right, it should now boot from the CD. No. <laughs> right, let's go see, see where we've gone wrong here. Let's power this off. Yes. Right. Let's refresh my screen. Okay. Sorted. All right, let's edit settings again. Let's go here. Connect at power on. Okay, let's try again. Didn't want to do that. Okay, let's open the console. <laughs> uh, it's gone down here. Let's try one more time. There we go. And obviously you don't want to sit here and watch me install Windows XP, but you know how it goes. So that's it for this tutorial. 
the next one what I'll do is I will show you how to put an image into a data store and this doesn't just work for images it works for virtual machines as well and I'll also show you how to do that put a virtual machine into the data store so that's it for this tutorial really um, look out for the next one coming in a few minutes which will be putting an image into the data store